Welcome to Stunning Memories. Today, we are going to show you how 30 famous actresses of the 80s have aged gracefully. These are the women who ruled the big screen and the small screen in the decade of neon, shoulder pads, and synth pop. Let's see how they look now and what they are up to. First, we have Meryl Streep, who played Karen in the movie Out of Africa, a romantic drama set in colonial Kenya. She was 36 years old in 1985 when the movie was released. Now she is 74 years old and still one of the most respected and celebrated actresses in Hollywood. She was married to sculptor Don Gummer till 2017 and has four children. Next, we have Mia Farrow, who played Cecilia in the movie The Purple Rose of Cairo a fantasy comedy about a woman who falls in love with a character from a movie. She was 40 years old in 1985 when the movie came out. Now she is 78 years old. She has 14 children, some of whom are adopted. Then we have Melanie Griffith, who played Holly in the movie Body Double, a thriller about a struggling actor who witnesses a murder. She was 27 years old in 1984 when the movie was released. Now she is 66 years old. She has been married four times, most famously to actor Antonio Banderas, and has three children. Next up, we have Michelle Pfeiffer, who played Stephanie in the movie Grease 2, a musical sequel to the hit film Grease. She was 24 years old in 1982 when the movie was released. Now she is 65 years old and still a stunning beauty. She is married to writer and producer David E. Kelly and has two children. Then, we have Demi Moore, who played Debbie in the movie About Last Night, a romantic comedy about two couples who try to make their relationships work. She was 24 years old in 1986 when the movie was released. Now, she is 61 years old. She has been married three times, most famously to actor Bruce Willis, and has three children. Next, we have Jennifer Beals, who played Ava in the movie The Bride, a horror remake of the classic film The Bride of Frankenstein. She was 22 years old in 1985 when the movie was released. Now she is 60 years old. She is married to Canadian entrepreneur Ken Dixon and has two children. Then we have Jessica Lange, who played Julie Nichols in the movie Tootsie, a comedy about an actor who dresses as a woman to get a role. She was 33 years old in 1982 when the movie was released. Now she is 74 years old and still a brilliant actress. She has been married twice and has three children. Next, we have Cher, who played Rusty Dennis in the movie Mask, a biographical drama about a mother and son who suffer from a rare genetic disorder. She was 39 years old in 1985 when the movie was released. Now she is 77 years old. She has been married twice, most famously to singer Sonny Bono, and has two children. Then we have Daryl Hannah, who played Pris in the movie Blade Runner, a science fiction classic about a futuristic dystopia. She was 22 years old in 1982 when the movie was released. Now she is 63 years old and still a beautiful actress. She is also an environmentalist. She is married to musician Neil Young. Next, we have Grace Jones, who played May Day in the movie A View to a Kill, a James Bond film about a villain who plans to destroy Silicon Valley. She was 37 years old in 1985 when the movie was released. Now, she is 75 years old. She has been married once and has one son. Then, we have Jennifer Grey, who played Baby Houseman in the movie Dirty Dancing, a romantic drama about a young woman who falls in love with a dance instructor. She was 27 years old in 1987 when the movie was released. Now, she is 63 years old and still a charming actress. She is married to actor Clark Gregg, and has one daughter. Next, we have Kim Bassinger, who played Vicki Vale in the movie Batman, a superhero film about the Dark Knight and his nemesis, the Joker. She was 36 years old in 1989 when the movie was released. 
Now she is 70 years old and still a stunning actress. She has been married twice, most famously to actor Alec Baldwin, and has one daughter. Then we have Molly Ringwald, who played Claire Standish in the movie The Breakfast Club, a teen comedy about five students who bond during detention. She was 17 years old in 1985 when the movie was released. Now she is 55 years old and still a lovely actress. She is married to writer Panio Genopoulos and has three children. Next, we have Olivia Newton-John, who played Kira in the movie Xanadu, a musical fantasy about a muse who inspires an artist. She was 32 years old in 1980 when the movie was released. Sadly, she passed away in 2022 at the age of 74 after a long battle with cancer. She was married twice and had one daughter. Then, we have Sigourney Weaver, who played Jill Bryant in the movie The Year of Living Dangerously, a political drama set in Indonesia during a coup. She was 33 years old in 1982 when the movie was released. Now, she is 74 years old. She is married to director Jim Simpson and has one daughter. Next, we have Cheryl Ladd, who played Chris Monroe in the sitcom Charlie's Angels, a crime show about three female detectives. She was 29 years old in 1980 when the show ended. Now she is 72 years old and still a gorgeous actress. She is married to music producer Brian Russell and has two children. Then we have Diane Lane, who played Cherry Valance in the movie The Outsiders, a coming-of-age drama about a gang of young rebels. She was 18 years old in 1983 when the movie was released. Now she is 59 years old and still a graceful actress. She has been married twice, most famously to actor Josh Brolin, and has one daughter. Next, we have Elizabeth Shue, who played Chris in the movie Adventures in Babysitting, a comedy about a babysitter who gets into trouble with her charges. She was 24 years old in 1987 when the movie was released. Now, she is 60 years old. She is married to director Davis Guggenheim and has three children. Next, we have Glenn Close, who played Jenny Fields in the movie The World According to Garp, a comedy drama based on the novel by John Irving. She was 35 years old in 1982 when the movie was released. Now she is 76 years old and still a formidable actress. She has been married three times and has one daughter. Then we have Jodie Foster, who played Sarah Tobias in the movie The Accused, a courtroom drama about a rape victim who fights for justice. She was 26 years old in 1988 when the movie was released. Now she is 61 years old and still a remarkable actress. She is married to photographer Alexandra Hedison and has two sons. Next, we have Kathleen Turner, who played Maddie Walker in the movie Body Heat, a neo-noir thriller about a femme fatale who seduces a lawyer. She was 27 years old in 1981 when the movie was released. Now she is 69 years old and still a captivating actress. She has been married once and has one daughter. Then we have Kim Fields, who played Tootie in the sitcom The Facts of Life, a comedy about a group of girls who attend a boarding school. She was 15 years old in 1984. Now she is 54 years old and still a delightful actress. She is married to actor Christopher Morgan and has two sons. Next, we have Leah Thompson, who played Lorraine Baines in the movie Back to the Future, a science fiction comedy about a teenager who travels back in time and meets his parents. She was 24 years old in 1985 when the movie was released. Now, she is 62 years old. She is married to director Howard Deutsch and has two daughters. Next, we have Linda Hamilton, who played Sarah Connor in the movie The Terminator, a sci-fi action film about a woman who is targeted by a killer cyborg. She was 28 years old in 1984 when the movie was released. Now, she is 67 years old. She has been married twice, most famously to director James Cameron, and has two children. 
Next, we have Lisa Bonet, who played Denise Huxtable in the sitcom The Cosby Show, a comedy about a wealthy African-American family. She was 18 years old in 1985 when the show was at its peak. Now she is 56 years old. She is married to actor Jason Momoa till 2022 and has three children. Next, we have Phoebe Cates, who played Linda Barrett in the movie Fast Times at Ridgemont High, a teen comedy about the lives and loves of high school students. She was 19 years old in 1982 when the movie was released. Now she is 60 years old and still a beautiful actress. She is married to actor Kevin Klein and has two children. Next, we have Robin Wright, who played the Princess Bride in the movie The Princess Bride, a fantasy adventure about a young woman who is kidnapped by a pirate. She was 21 years old in 1987 when the movie was released. Now she is 57 years old. She has been married three times, most recently to actor Clement Giraudet, and has two children. Next, we have Kelly McGillis, who played Charlie in the movie Top Gun, an action film about a fighter pilot who falls in love with his instructor. She was 29 years old in 1986 when the movie was released. Now she is 66 years old. She is also a teacher and a counselor. She has been married twice and has two daughters. Next, we have Meg Rian, who played Sally Albright in the movie When Harry Met Sally, a romantic comedy about two friends who wonder if they can be lovers. She was 28 years old in 1989 when the movie was released. Now, she is 62 years old. She has been married once, most famously to actor Dennis Quaid, and has two children. Finally, we have Heather Locklear, who played Sammy Joe in the sitcom Dynasty, a drama about a wealthy oil family. She was 21 years old in 1982 when the show started. Now she is 62 years old and still a gorgeous actress. She has been married twice, most famously to musician Tommy Lee, and has one daughter. That's all for today's video. We hope you enjoyed seeing how these 30 famous actresses of the 80s have aged gracefully. They are all amazing women who have made their mark in the entertainment industry and beyond. Please like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more stunning memories. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye.